Pod Thai's modern story starts after World War II, a war that Thailand had no intention of being involved in. The Thai view is that this is not our war, we want to keep out of it. But then the Japanese said, we're going to come in, we're going to walk through you to go and attack the British in Burma and Malaysia. So at that point, you can't stay out. Four years later, like many Asian countries at the end of the war, Thailand is left on the verge of ruin. People forget there were 4,000 Allied bombing missions on Bangkok. It's huge. And then there was the shortage of everything at the end of the war, uh, except guns. And there's a famous quote uh, at that time that it was easier to buy a gun than to buy a beer. Thailand needs a recovery plan, and fast. The prime minister at the time, Khun Pibun, focuses on uniting a very disjointed and desperate country. He changes the country's name from Siam to Thailand and introduces a new national anthem. Then he appeals to the nation's heart via their stomachs. There was this idea to, to build a strong nation, you had to build strong people. The country's leaders devise an all-in-one dish that the people can adopt together, something that is both healthy and accessible. You have the carbohydrate from the rice noodle, you have the protein from tofu, you have the protein from dry shrimp. And the vitamins you can have from the vegetable, like bean sprout and chive. So this is all five nutrients in one dish. The dish is given a name, one that will symbolize hope and national pride. They call it Pad Thai. The word itself is such a marketing word, it's easy to remember, Pad Thai. Naming of a dish to be after your own country is very deliberate. 